Toy Soldiers. Uh, August 26, 1991. I have like a Rain Man brain, but a stoner's memory. <laughs> Joker's the Volcano. March 9th, 1990. On IMDb, they will list the release date of the premiere, not the actual movie. So sometimes, I'm right and they're wrong. Yeah, so don't act cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Movie Day, the only show where an idiot and a smart person review movies from decades ago. Now, this is important that you realize that this is not a joke and this is not a script. This is not pre-scripted. This is all based on my dear friend Chris's amazing gifts. Chris, would you mind telling uh, the audience something about your gift? Yes, well, you'll experience this, but I remember movie release dates from 1989 until current day, but mostly the 90s. We should stick to the 90s, but I definitely know the 2000s. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but I got like 95 on, on lock, like I'll remember. So you're saying you can, you can remember any movie yeah. when it was, when the release date of this movie was. Fr- the, yeah, the Friday release date, like date and date, like straight up. Which in itself is amazing, but you also remember details about the movie, such as the director, the, maybe the cinematographer, the stars at least? Stars, director, box office, studio... Um, yeah, all, most detail, details like that. Uh, I can't remember a single name of any person in Jurassic Park. You can't remember anybody in Jurassic Park? No. Not even a Sam Elliott. Sam Neill. I'm going to pick a movie at random from the 90s when I was in high school. Chris is going to tell us when the release date was, and then we're going to review that movie. What do you say we jump into it, Chris? I would love to. What was that movie where Scorsese wanted to do a whole Victorian thing about holding hands? The Age of Innocence. The Age of Innocence, yes! (laughs) That's right! Um... Real fast background on that before we get into it. My girlfriend convinced a group of 14 of us, skaters and metalheads, to go see this movie because we thought it was going to be a great Scorsese movie. Yeah. And she was ostracized. Um, <laughs> so tell me, when, um, when, did it, when, did it, when was it released? September 10th, 1993, and then why September 24th, 1993? It came out with Goodfellas, yeah. Cape Fear, uh-huh. then Age of Innocence. That's how we went. Let me hear your review of the Age of Innocence. Martin Scorsese is my favorite director. Yes. I've seen every one of his movies, mm-hmm. but Age of Innocence. What? I've never seen it. Oh, well, fuck. Should we give a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Should we make that part of our thing? Yeah, a thumbs up. I'm going to give the, the Age of Innocence a thumbs up as well. Marked for Death with Steven Seagal. Starring Steven Seagal. October 5th, 1990. <laughs> um, the best Seagal movie, in my opinion. Oh. It was originally oh. titled Screwface, but they changed the name because... They had to fit that three-word Seagal movie pattern. Above ah. the Law, Hard to Kill, and then Mark for Death. So they changed the title from Screwface to fit that like Seagal pattern of three three words. Too. Oh, wow. So you know instead I mean? of Screwed the Face. Yeah, yeah. It'd Mark be for Death. Death. Mark yeah. for Death. The, the main guy is like actually scary. He might be the only memorable villain of any Steven Seagal movie. Oh, oh, oh. Who is the other one? Under Siege. Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. That's true. That's oh, good. Michael Caine on Deadly Ground. <laughs> that's right. That's right. He was on. Oh, that's right. William Forsythe. Well, um, I. I <laughs> he's like Seagal has a history of <laughs> Mark for Death, Steven Seagal, September 4th, 1991. Right? Wait, wait, wait. No, October 5th, 1990. October, <laughs> October 1990 was, uh, I would say, the end of the legitimate Steven Seagal movies that you could count on. Because although Under Siege was a big budget movie, yeah. it kind of felt like it was slipping a little bit. It was no longer believable that that fool could punch his way through any army and not get touched. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I was too young to see it. I saw it on uh, VHS, and I've seen it about, no joke, 20 times from start to finish. Available on DVD. This is a movie that I was very excited about and thought had the most brilliant ad campaign I'd ever seen in my life. And it was even referenced by The Simpsons, which meant a lot to me at the time. This movie was called Toys. Oh, great, great. December 18th, 1992. Now, Toys was the story of a toy maker who had a magical toy uh, uh, factory in the middle of a large grass field. The ad campaign was just Robin Williams doing as many different accents and like riffs as that they would let him do in the field, and that was it. And they didn't even say anything about the movie at all. 
when he did the trailer. Yes. That was an outtake. They were just messing around, and he was just, like, riffing. And they were like, let's make that the trailer. So that was, like, the most talked about kind of teaser for a while. Yeah. But they actually showed a real trailer with footage, and then the buzz just was bad after that. But it was good based <laughs> off the field footage. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I liked it. Yeah, thumbs way down. This is the one that you will not be able to get because it's an art house film. Okay. And it's before your time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with this. What is it? Down by law. Yeah. Down by law. I, I wanna say nineteen eighty six, but I you know that was yeah, totally independent. Movie. That's way before I saw it. Down by law, eighty six, correct. Yeah. Nicely done, dude. Yeah. He won. He won the challenge. That's crazy. And he's my he's, he's my co-host, so I don't know why I'm challenging him. But <laughs> like, you can't challenge me to shit. Right. Okay, so we're opening the, opening this up to the uh, yeah. Flintstones. Viva Rock Vegas. The question was um the Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas. Wait, was that the sequel or the first one? Uh, April twenty eighth, two thousand. Wait. Beaver Rock Vegas, man. April 28th. Yeah! True Lies. All right, True Lies. Let's do that one first. July 15th, 1994. What Woman Want. December 15th, 2000. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ransom. Ransom, November 6th, 1996. Billy Corgan did the score. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that his first score? Yeah. <laughs> That's let's, it. let's actually wrap this up with one final thing. And, and if we were to ever do this again, which I would love to, this yeah. is very fun, I would like to review this movie again. Because I genuinely think this movie got a bad rap, and I want to know what you think about it. Yeah. Um, the director did a student film called The Beaver Gets a Boner. It's the funniest oh. student film I've ever seen at USC. Yeah. Then he went on to do his directorial debut with a film called Heathers. Yeah! Woo! And then he made a movie that I liked very much that shaped a lot of the way that I like to, to do visual storytelling called Hudson Hawk. Yes. Oh. There's a lot of people don't like. I love this. this so let's go ahead and do you want to review oh, Hudson Hawk? I do. I love this date. First of all, before we review the movie, May 24th, 1991. The, it's the most stacked. It was the Friday before Memorial Day. Memorial Day is like a three-day weekend, right? Mm -hmm. So check out the movies that came out on this release. Yeah. Hudson Hawk, Backdraft. Drop Dead Fred, Thelma and Louise, Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken, Only the Lonely with John Candy. It all, all came out in the same day. Oh, shit. I, so most people think those movies didn't even come out in the same like five year span. Thelma and Louise, uh, that stumps me because I would think that it's like five, ten years ago. Yeah, no, it was, came out the same day as uh, Hudson Hawk, which yeah. I think is completely underrated. Really funny. If it came out today, it'd probably be huge. Yeah, but it's just way before its time. That being said, it has a lot of script problems. Do you want to give it a. Oh, Hudson Hawk. Thumbs way up. Thumbs yeah. up. All right, and I, uh, of course, I will say reboot it without no. a doubt. Thumbs up. Yeah, Denny Aiello. Denny Aiello, which is crazy. Like he post do the right thing. You got Cassie and Hudson Hall. And the bad guys were fantastic. Some of the best cartoonish, violent bad guys yeah. I've seen in a long time. But we'll know more about that on our next episode yeah. of Movie Day. Thank you so much for watching. Yo, Viva Rock Vegas was a fucking hard one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot they made a TV. Wow. Good show. That was incredible. By the way.